you may have heard of the concept white space, right? Time in your life or business where you can just get clear time to think. But you may not heard have heard of gold space. And that's a concept I want to share with you today that's really transformed how I've been able to be creative, innovative, and work, you know, as they say, like smarter, not harder in your business for the last three and a half years, even with all that I balance, even with a three and five-year-old at home. And when I started my business, they were, you know, I had a newborn and a two-year-old. Um, and I really feel like embracing and understanding gold space has helped me make this transition. So I'm gonna share what gold space is and then six of my favorite hacks for really guarding and managing your heart and your mind and your energy as a business owner. Welcome to the Heart Centered Entrepreneur Podcast. I want you to be rich. Yes, I want abundant financial success for your business, but I don't just care about your business making money. I care about you too. I want you to be rich in happiness, in the impact you make, in your relationships, and in how you give back. I'm Anna. I built my six-figure business as a side hustle while I was pregnant with my daughter in 2016. Now I've helped dozens of women do the same. I'm here to help you build a profitable, heart-centered, fully booked business with the latest tips on sales and visibility, with proven mindset hacks, and sneak peeks behind the scenes with what's working right now in the online space and in my business. Ready to make more money with heart? Let's go. So I really believe that protecting your mindset is one of the biggest gifts you can give your clients, your audience, your family, all the things, right? Um, But it can be hard, especially with technology and especially as an online business owner, a lot of your life is online. (laughs) And so we need to figure out how to use our phone as a tool, but not let it overwhelm us. And I'm going to be honest, I am not always perfect at this. I am always innovating and shifting and trying to brainstorm and asking my friends to hold me accountable to certain boundaries. Boundaries, but I want to share with you what's worked because I feel like I figured some things out that have made this significantly easier. Um, so I want to share the, ha- the hacks first, and then I'll dive into talking about the concept of gold space in general. So these are some of the things that I've done to create more of a peaceful, grounded, centered environment for my life and business, no matter what's going on in the world, no matter what's happening in my own family even. Um, so the number one thing that's been helpful when I stick to it, (laughs) is creating a solid phone curfew. So I, lately I've been picking 8 p.m. 8 p.m. is when I put my, charge my phone in the other room so that I can go to bed without the social scroll, because let's be real, I'm not thinking clearly at that time. Um, And if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm not tempted to scroll if I wake up early. Um, And then I've been trying to wait until 8 a.m. to pick up my phone again. I will sometimes still work on my desktop computer at night or early in the morning, but I think there's something about our phone that is just a different energy. And so that's one thing I suggest you doing is really creating a phone curfew for yourself. Um, Another thing that I've done that's been super helpful is turn all my notifications off (laughs) on my phone. So I don't get any social notifications on my phone except for my text messages or a phone call. And that has been a game changer. And sometimes I'll still check into Facebook or check into my base camp to check on my clients, but I'm doing it on my own schedule instead of ping it, like pinging me at a random time when I'm in the middle of something else with my kids or with a business project. Um, this goes for your computer too. Now you can have notifications on your computer. So I really encourage you to turn all notifications off if they're not already off. Okay. Next is, um, along the same line, also silencing group or family texts that you don't need to get to immediately. So I don't know if you know this, but if you have like group texts, you can actually silence them so that they still show up when you check your text messages, but it's not pinging you all the time. Um, the next thing that I've done is I filter most of my mass emails in my inbox. So what does that mean? When someone sends me a mass email, it goes automatically. I don't even see it in my inbox box goes into a folder so that once a week or so, when I want to read email newsletters, I can pop in and read them. But that way in my day to day newsletters are not cluttering my inbox. And in Gmail, it's really easy to set up a filter so that messages skip your inbox and go straight to the folder. Um, I've done this with most newsletters and I just have a few newsletters that pop into my inbox. 
Um, next, I encourage you to delete apps from your phone when you want extra silence. So even though we have notifications off, I don't know about you, but I'm still sometimes tempted to just automatically go in and check Instagram or, you know, compulsively check Facebook. So when I want to have some space, sometimes it's for a day, sometimes it's literally for four hours, I'll delete the app off my phone. <laughs> which may sound extreme, but it's actually not that hard to re-download it. Like it takes literally like 10 seconds. And what this does is if I tell myself, I want to be present with my kids for the next four hours, then when I accidentally like impulsively go in to check social, it's not there. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Because I didn't want to do it, right? It takes effort to re-download an app. And so when you want space for an evening or a weekend or a week, I encourage you to consider actually deleting apps off your phone. Okay. So that was the five tips, but I kind of have a bonus one. And that is to invest in Spotify (laughs) or invest in a music player that doesn't have ads because a lot of times, um, it's good to listen to podcasts. You're listening to a podcast right now. I love doing podcasts, especially while I'm going for a walk or doing the dishes, but sometimes we just need space to think. And I feel like music is one of the things that really grounds me, um, in that thinking space. We're going to talk about gold space in just a minute. Um, but also just when I want to be present with my kids so that my mind isn't elsewhere, I'm an Enneagram seven. And so I love to adventure and do things, but I find that I really, at the end of the day, feel more fulfilled when I am present with one thing at a time, when I am present with the present moment. And one of the more fun ways that I do that is just music, right? If we're in the car jamming out to some show tunes, or if I'm at home and playing with the kids, like putting on some peaceful music, if I'm working, putting on music and not having to be interrupted by ads is my favorite. (laughs) And so I really enjoyed having Spotify over the last few years. Um, And so that's been something that has like supplemented, like adding the boundaries, but also filling it right with things that are supportive. Okay. I hope that at least one of those suggestions was something that you feel like you can implement in your life. I know boundaries don't always feel fun, but I really found that boundaries actually give me freedom, right? Even when we create freedom as an entrepreneur, a lot of times we create freedom from creating boundaries from ourselves for ourselves, right? Um, that we can stick to that we, when we're in this grounded space, we can make this assessment of, Hey, I don't want to be on my phone after 9 PM or whatever it is for you. And that way, when you're in the moment, you're not having to make the decision, right? You're making decisions for yourself in advance of this is what I know I need to do to thrive as a human, right? Because I'm not living a typical life. I am living an extraordinary life. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to have discipline, right? I'm going to have to make sacrifices so that I can, um, show up for myself consistently over time, show up consistently for my audience and my clients over time. Okay. So I came up with this concept of gold space because honestly, I got a little frustrated with everyone talking about white space when I have children and like very few minutes of my day are not filled with something, right? That's just the season of life I'm in right now with a three and five-year-old. That may change in a few years, but right now I don't have very much white space. I do still try to get out and have CEO brainstorming times um, where I'm at a coffee shop and I can think, but even then in a coffee shop, there still is noise going on, right? Um, And so I came up with the concept of gold space because I was like, dang it, I'm going to figure out a way to get that sort of white space brainstorming CEO time, even when things are a little crazy. And so basically what gold space is, is you setting an intention for a period of time, even if there's stuff going on, um, for you to take out a notebook again, maybe playing some music and getting something done, right? Usually it's not necessarily like, um, executing on something, executing on a project, but more brainstorming, right? Let me give you some examples. So maybe you're in the grocery store and there's a real long line and you're like, I'm going to be here for 20 minutes, right? So just scrolling on your phone, use that gold space, whip out that notebook from your purse, or maybe just the notes app on your phone and set an intention and say, you know what? I'm going to brainstorm my next three content pieces. Not going to write them right now, but I'm going to brainstorm my topics, right? Um, I also like to prepare like gold space, um, things 
before the moment, right? And so I say, these are the things in my business I'm really trying to figure out. Should I hire this person or this person X? Okay, next time I have gold space, I'm gonna think through it, right? It's your thinking time. It's your brainstorming time. Um, I try to do CEO assessments too. That's basically where I just ask myself what's working in my business, what's not working in my business and what needs to shift. I have a whole assessment, a CEO assessment that I do. I can drop the link in the show notes too, but I think gold space is a great time for this really to just ask yourself, right? Maybe your kids are playing across the room, but you just have a little notebook on your lap and you're brainstorming, okay, what's working in my business and what's not working right now right? And just giving yourself time to make some of those white space decisions, even when there's stuff going on, even if there's other people in the room, even if there's stuff happening, still being fierce and setting that intention and making decisions and brainstorming and visioning, not giving yourself the excuse to not do it because life is busy, but saying, even in spite of that, I'm going to choose to focus instead of distract myself, right? So what you can do right now is ask yourself the next time I have gold space, right? What do I want to spend it on? What do I want to do with that time? What decision do I want to make? What brainstorming do I want to do? Set that intention right now. And that way, when the time pops up, instead of being annoyed, right, that you're like stuck in the car and your kids just fell asleep in or napping in the car instead of going inside, you'll know exactly what to do with that time, right? Set that intention and then you can snap up that gold space and be so grateful for it. I hope that this was helpful today. I am always innovating and figuring out how do I be more productive in, with my time and in my life? Because I think it, I, for a while I was frustrated, like, okay, God, like, how can I possibly get everything I want to done? How can I have enough time? Um, and then I really started saying this affirmation, right? There is enough time in the day to get everything I need to get done, done, to take care of my body, my soul, my mind, really believing that there is enough time. I just need to look for it. And I just need to be a good manager of the time that I do have, right? Time is really just as valuable as a resource as money is, especially as busy working women and business owners. We just need to be fierce about how we protect our time and know that, you know, I really adopted this belief that if I show up fully 100% with the time I'm given, I know I'm going to get massive results. If I'm, I am a good steward of the time I have, right. And not compare myself to what another woman might have, right. She may have more time or less time, but all I can do is show up with the time that I've been given to me. And I know that I can achieve my dreams, produce the results I want to, if I show up and am fiercely accountable to myself for that time. Thanks for hanging out today. Please hit that subscribe button so you can make sure to stay updated anytime a new episode drops. And I would love for you to join me in my free Facebook community. It's called The Heart-Centered Entrepreneur. We discuss the podcast episodes. I regularly go live and do free trainings. And you may even meet your newest biz bestie. So you can join at heartcenteredcommunity.com. It's absolutely free. And I cannot wait to see you in there.